a billionaire, built Noah's Ark in the desert. But things went horribly wrong. In 1991, Texas soil billionaire Ed Bass built a habitat. It looked like a complex of huge glass domes. They sat in the arid Arizona desert. Inside was a self-sustaining world. It was like a colony base on another planet. Humans could supposedly live there autonomously. They'd grow their own food. The bizarre arc was called Biosphere 2. The rest of Earth was referred to as Biosphere 1. Eight people volunteered to live inside the ark. They were supposed to spend two years in isolation, but nothing went as planned. Biosphere 2 took four years and $150 million to build. It was an artificial closed ecosystem. The idea was to demonstrate a possible way of colonizing outer space. The dome was supposed to imitate life on Earth. It had 3,800 species of animals and plants. It featured seven different biomes. These included a coral reef, a desert, a rainforest, a marsh, and more. Four men and four women would live in Biosphere 2. They called themselves Biospherians. The Biospherians would be totally cut off from the outside world. No supplies would be delivered. The people would grow their own food and recycle air and water. However, the experiment went sour very fast. Crops failed all the time, and the people went hungry. Many species died out. Oxygen levels were very low. This made the participants dizzy and weak. All this led to internal conflict. The group split into two factions. Former friends became bitter enemies. They still worked together to maintain the biosphere. Their survival depended on the dome, but their calorie-restricted diet resulted in low morale. On top of it all, the Biospherians were on constant display. Coachloads of tourists came every day to look at them. Biosphere 2 was isolated, but it was also transparent. They were able to achieve some success, such as recycling water. The closed ecosystem did not fail completely, but some of the Biospherians spoke of bringing in food from outside. This would have defeated the purpose of the project. An uncomfortable truth emerged later. A project participant left after two weeks for a minor surgery. She actually smuggled in a lot of equipment. Then it turned out that the Biospherians had a three-month supply of food. It had been stockpiled before the mission began. Some of the air they breathed was being pumped in. All these revelations meant that Biosphere 2 wasn't self-sufficient. The Biospherians insisted that this was just an experiment. All eight of them survived the two years of isolation. The crew hardly spoke to each other by the end, but this was the only mission to succeed in any way. Ed Bass fired his team and hired new investors. In 1994, he launched a second mission. It lasted only six months before the management shut it down. The original structure still stands. It's now owned by the University of Arizona. The dome is used for environmental studies. No one lives there anymore.